Okay, so we are here with Sikka mm. from Hjaltelin. Yes. Did I say that correctly? It was perfect. <laughs> um, one of my favorite bands who has not been to, to played together since 2014, I want to say here. Am I right? At, at Airwaves? It's well, been a while. It's or been longer. A while. Sorry, maybe. No, I think actually we played probably. Uh, 2016. 16, okay. Yeah, I, I can't it's remember, been a but... few years. Yeah. So you might not remember this party, but I, one of my favorite, I have a lot of favorite moments um, from Airways. We were at, it was Halloween, this is when um, Airwaves used to still be in October. All right. Do you remember that? It, I remember that, but it, yeah. Uh, we were at a party, um, and I want to say it was off of Laga Vega, it was a Halloween party. And it was like they had like this hot tub there, and you're mentioning you're mentioning sounds, every party oh, ever in Iceland. Familiar to you at all? <laughs> but it was really great, and your the whole band came, and I want to say that you were just you started singing, but not like to perform. You were just kind of singing because you've got a beautiful voice. Okay. This probably, you probably, you're like you're probably like I've done this at a lot of parties. <laughs> no, Does but sound familiar. It, well, you know, it's, it starts uh, yeah familiar. There was a party. <laughs> but then it was a Halloween party? It was around Halloween. Okay, but we didn't have any costumes on. That, no. That, that's impossible. No, yeah. it was just the day was like mm. Halloween, around okay, Halloween. Okay. And there was a hot tub and we were singing. But you yeah. just like, I think you would just come in and just started like singing Coming? and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, well. So there was that and yeah. I'm like, okay, that's probably like a lot of parties here. But the other, and I'm not going to tell you, the party got really weird later for me. Of course, okay. of course it did. It, of course it did. Not, yes. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. Like parties sometimes do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I remember just thinking, this is so cool because everybody, like I didn't know anybody at this party. In fact, I don't even know how I got into okay. this party <laughs> except that I was like, oh, I just saw you perform. Ah. And it was great. Um, but the other thing that you will remember this, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but um, Seguros is um, recording studio. We all went to the countryside and you performed a, a cover of Beyonce's Halo. Ah, uh, yeah. That, that you remember. Yes, I do. That was honestly one of the most memorable moments because the name of the um, studio, <laughs> it, it means something like... Ah, uh, that's uh, the swimming pool actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So describe it to the people because it's yeah, amazing. It's, it's actually an old swimming pool, so it just looks like a swimming pool. You know, it's mm -hmm. like um, yeah. And you were standing probably on up, the rim. Yeah. And they were performing in yeah, the swimming pool. Yeah, in the swimming pool. And it was probably like, um, wasn't it for uh, KXP? Yeah, oh, it was yeah. part of the KXP thing, and they recorded yeah. it. Mm -hmm. and, and you played more than Beyonce, but I remember when you did the Halo, I was like. Oh. Had sh shivers. Oh, nice! It was so. <laughs> How do they play their instruments above the water like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have like waterproof uh, gear. Yeah, okay. No, there's no water in the swimming pool anymore. Now it's just like nice um, instruments and um, yeah. I mean, it's like a house. It almost feels like a house in the middle. I don't even know where we were. It's actually close to the city, but Is it's it? like yeah. A little bit outside, and there's like this lake, and uh, it's really romantic. Do you, do you feel like 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 uh, does that work for you to have like you when you record? Mm -hmm. So you already have the songs already done. <clears throat> you know what you're gonna do, but when you go out, like, is it better to have like someplace like solitude and confinement with the group hmm. compared to maybe like doing it like here where you can just walk outside and go get a hamburger? I like I like the other idea, you know, better to be somewhere like. Where, where it's easy to go outside for a walk and it's kind of pretty and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, you know, slow and um, no cars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. No distractions, that's, yeah. right? Okay. That's, that's my sort of, that's my favorite. I feel like also, didn't, I think you recorded in that studio, didn't you? Um, or was that just for the KXP? Uh, it was for the KXP, but we recorded two songs, but we have never made like an album. Not Kjartali. But I, most of us have recorded there in you know, some other capacity. Or, yeah. So, well, okay, so let's talk about, um, you have a new album January, or no, new, well. well we have an album. Yeah. Uh, to be released. Yes. At some point. Oh, I thought it was January. Was I being hopeful? Um, well, it's almost ready, but it's like, yeah, we have finished like the recordings, but there's like millions of things to do, like, yeah, after you finish the recordings, it's just like the mix and stuff like that. 
So yeah, it will be out. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah, it'll be out. Yeah. It'll be out. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what, uh, there was a little break, uh, just in time. Was it, was, was it an intentional hiatus, or were you guys just working on lots of different things and then decided to get together now, or how did that work out? Yeah, well, our, you know, we haven't uh, released anything since 2012, mm -hmm. so that's a long time, mm -hmm. but uh, we have been working, um, both doing some concerts, not that much, but, um, and then recording something, you know, we have like had some sessions and stuff. Um, then people were just doing their own stuff and um, I don't know, it was- do you, do, you write, do you write music and you go, this is gonna be good for this, and then this is gonna be good for this, do you pocket it or do you just go? No, we just, uh, in some cases, um, the band, the boys, you know, they're just like <laughs> the boys do. Yeah, and they're just like um, jamming, and mm -hmm. you know, and something comes out of that. In some cases, like Hakni brings something uh, to the table, or Kjörte does, like mm -hmm. a complete song. Um, and then we just have a lot of material, and then it's just like, okay, we could use this and this and this, and uh, we could also use this, but this doesn't fit, so we will uh, keep it till later. So it's just. We have a lot of stuff, you know. Like I want to we'll sure, go ahead. With the new material that you, you're releasing, you have Baroness and um, mm -hmm. that uh, the single, uh, why am I not thinking, the um, big hit from the summer, it was... Um, Love from 99? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, were those, because you said sometimes you'd work on some stuff and sit on it, um, mm -hmm. are these brand new new, or are you, are you kind of digging from the, from the yeah. past a little bit? I think, um, for instance, the Baroness, I think that's at least five years old. Wow, okay. Um, in some form, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think the same actually with the other song. It's not, well, it's quite, it's not from 2014, but maybe 15, 16, you know, the, the idea of it. And um, yeah, and then it goes through millions of, you know, um, circles and, you know, we come back to it and, you know, yeah, change it. And, yeah. So it's not like you really took a hiatus. You've always sort of just had it, but then maybe just time passes before you could like all get together and make stuff again. Yeah. It was just actually, um, we had a concert in uh, the big music hall like um, two months ago. And we decided that as a sort of like a point for us to, okay, we have this concert in uh, five months or whatever it was and let's try to uh, finish some songs and some stuff for that uh, which was good for us because we can also just um, it takes us a long time to finish stuff um, so I think that because of the concert we had uh, yeah we managed to um, finish some of the songs that yeah we're about to release at some point <laughs> Sorry, I, I saw no, you making it. Oh, no, I, I was, was going to say, questions. like, it's just taken, um, so it does take a long time to develop, but but thank you for doing that, because yeah. everything that you put out is, like, it feels immaculate. Like, when I hear it, I'm like, this is, uh, like, a uh, finished product and completely, like, envelops me, like, as a human, like, to hear it, you know, so it's, it's so great. Um, now, one of the things, and obviously, like, this just happens, mm -hmm. you guys covered Halo from Beyonce, and, uh, like, obviously that suits your voice really well, mm -hmm. but I was hoping for, like, um, maybe you could do, like, a Nickelback photograph or something. <laughs> Is there, like, a possibility, like, you're going to cover anything else like don't that? Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Well, the thing was, we were actually supposed to, like, have this uh, live uh, session. <laughs> At yeah. the radio, yeah, and they were like, "Okay, so you do two of your songs, and then you have a cover." And we forgot. And the night before, we were like, "Oh, yeah, we have we have a cover to do." So um, that's how that this happened. idea came up. It was not like, "Okay, we need to find a song to cover." Next time, call me. I've got all okay, of the covers. Okay, I got good, all the good, covers. Good. Okay. We're gonna do some like yeah. ACDC. You have a bank of like yeah, yeah cover ideas. Okay, good. <laughs> so you just kind of randomly picked that song. Yeah, we did. 
You know yeah. it though, like you knew it by heart already, so you can just sing that. Yeah, I knew the song. I I had to like, you know, I didn't know the lyrics by heart, but it's, I do now. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's if, you for so you much. not knowing the lyrics, it's an <laughs> amazing rendition of that. Thank you so much. So, our what? Um, Outside of uh, there's new music coming. Um, have there been some? I feel like there's been some member changes too, or has there? Or no, uh, not yeah. so much. Well, um, we were actually nine. That's what I thought it was being at some point. Yes, and then uh, eight, and then seven, and now we're six, and we have been six for some, some years. Okay. So um, yeah, we were seven for a long time, and we had um, our wonderful bassoon player um, and she's no longer with us she by the way in the States. for, for um, American audiences mm -hmm. yes Iceland uh, bands have bassoons in them sometimes yeah which is amazing this is what is great about Iceland music. yeah 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 um, well but yeah but not anymore not now I know I know no I know yeah. not now but no, but, but, but like, at least we, to begin. we lost her to the States yeah. Is she in a band there? Out of curiosity. No, 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 no. She's working for the New York City Ballet. Oh, wow. Oh. She's, uh, What's yeah. your name? Her name is Rebecca. We love you. Yeah. Is she an actual ballerina? No, no, no. Oh, okay. well, she's, she plays, right? Uh, no, she's actually, she does the, um, she's um, into, you know, she's in the film industry. Oh, ah. she is. So, yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, but you still have a very, uh, for lack of a better term, orchestral sound, even without a bassoon. Like, I feel like there's yeah. still that very, you still sound like you, mm -hmm. whether you were nine people or, or seven, six, six, mm -hmm. six yeah. people. Um, in terms of, I think a lot of it's just because, first of all, the ethereal quality of your voice, like, carries mm -hmm. everything. But then it's also um, just, there's a vibe which, that I feel like, even though I'm not saying all your music's the same, because it's not, but yeah. I'm saying there's a vibe that sort of, I feel it carries through. Am I, do you feel that? Well, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope there is a vibe. Um, um, I mean, we, we use a lot of like strings. Yes. Um, and maybe today we have more like, in our life setup, we have more synths. Me. Yeah, this is a little beginning. more electronic. The Baroness yeah. one is especially, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And some of the new stuff, but... Um, that we haven't heard, that's coming soon, yes. but we won't say when. Okay. <laughs> no, see? it's better to say, it, not, you know, <laughs> promise anything. We have you know, done that before. So, um, yeah, but yeah, we, we definitely have like um, some kind of a, a continuity, you know? It's, it's similar to our last album, but hopefully not exactly the same. I no, mean, never. Five years later, something has happened and people have changed. And, and you add a little more. And we have grown up and so, yeah. I mean, to me, like, I just wanted to, uh, uh, you, ha you have like a real massive attack kind of feel, like kind of, oh. which is, thank you for doing this, by the hey. way. It's not enough. Can I be your Banksy? Like, do you have a Banksy in the band? Because I'll just come out and like spray paint yeah. art, like for you if just, you want. you know. <laughs> Please, do. just jump up there. Yeah. No, no one's gonna get in trouble yeah. for doing that. They have that. six people, I could be the seventh. Yeah. I'll just go and spray paint. I'm not gonna be a member of the band. I'll just kind of do some artwork for them. Someone slowly just like yeah. walks on and you're like, what's going on? If you need a Banksy, I'm your Banksy. Good. Well, okay, so I just shared early on a couple of my favorite things that have happened in the last um, few years. You being a big part of it um, so musically. I, I, because we're ending the 2010s, mm -hmm. I've been asking people about this. What is one of your favorite airwaves moments over the last hundred years? It could be either you or something, something else, else you saw, or both, yeah, yeah. if you want to share. Just something inspiring, actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have had a lot of beautiful moments, like uh, playing airwaves. Um, I remember, like, maybe it was like 2014 or something, we played the music, the, the big music. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and we that had a great gig there. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was so good. Yeah, we were so happy with that. Do you, does that make you nervous, like, going up, like, because, like, you do these things and there's a few thousand people, but then you're like, you go into it and you're thousands of people. Actually, it's not, you know, it's for me, it's, um, I get a little bit more nervous, like, in smaller, smaller area. places. Because mm -hmm. well, you can when, see everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we have also like had nice, very beautiful, magical gigs at, for instance, at Cafe Barin, yeah. which is just a small um, bar. Mm -hmm. But then I remember like some years ago, uh, 
in Narsa, which is like also I, a place that we that place yeah, yeah because we don't have it anymore. Then I know. there are some gigs that are just magical. I remember um, Architecter in Helsinki played there. Yes, wow. and that nice. was so lovely. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just um, actually just this strolling around meeting people and um, yeah just it's um, it's a special sort of it's a special weekend for us in uh, and our sort of small business like meeting everybody and uh, yeah I want to tell you we had I've asked this of we've asked this of several of the artists that we've spoken to mm -hmm. um, We've been interviewing. This is, I think, you're our seventh interview. Yeah, sixth interview. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and Siggy uh, from Iceland Music and from Sugar yes. Cubes, I had asked him that same question what was one of his favorite albums in 2010 mm -hmm. Icelandic albums. Whoa. Guess what he named? Number one. Um, I... Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> you might, I, I don't know, let's say, I hope that he mentioned. No, it was, it was great. Who, yeah, would, you he was like, Who would you mention? If you were asked that question, he meant he said you. Yeah, yeah. He flat out to... picked you. Okay. And you're out. And it wasn't album. even it wasn't that's even a thing. He didn't even yeah. think about. It. He goes, Hjaltlin, "That's my favorite album of the, the last ten years." Oh, that's very lovely. <gasps> what would you pick as a favorite oh, album? Uh, an Icelandic yeah, album. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it's hard to pick. Right? It is. There's so many. If someone asked me, I'd be like, every single album I've ever bought from Iceland is my favorite one. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. It's hard to yeah. pick one from like the last 10 years. Yeah, but from 10 years, I don't even remember. It's like, so it's 2009, so it's like... 2010. Yeah. It's a lot. 2010 to yeah. 2010. Can I, can I say just like... I don't, you know. That's can, okay. Can I answer this in maybe two years? Yes. Yeah. Have, okay. Have two years to reflect on it. <laughs> no, it's and it's hard because I mean, also you have to think about when, when wow. something was released, which is yeah. I think Siggy can know because he's so immersed in like all the albums when they yeah. come out. He probably memorizes all the dates and things that come out. Really? Yeah. Because it's his like he export you know, the music export. You have to like know every single thing that's released, so mm -hmm. he probably has a rolodex yeah. in his yeah. brain. Me, when I think about it, I'm like, oh, that's a long, yeah. it's a lot. And you don't want to, you, you don't want to say something and then like in 10 minutes be like, ah, oh, no, that wasn't the right album. I, uh, you know, so I'll just say nothing. I'll just say. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, one last question. Yeah. Um, so now that we're also on the cusp, what are you hoping, what are your hopes for the uh, musical aspirations for the 2020s coming up? Um, what are you hoping to do? And you're in more than one project, so I mean. Um, we have like uh, our landscape is that we live like a we live in a small society, so you need to do a lot of things basically, um, and that's the beauty, you know, for me to be able to work with different people and do all sorts of different kind of music. So I would just for myself, I would love to be able to do that, to continue doing that. Mm -hmm. um, for my band, I just hope that. We will have a concert in um, 20 years, um, like... Can you make that happen, please? Please? Yeah. 